lovies, welcome to your reading. Hey, my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. Happy Monday, y'all. I know Mondays is like, oh my God, here we go again. But I am here to brighten your day. Hopefully, my positive high vibrations rub off on you. Virgo, how you doing? How's everything going? Talk to me in the comments. Let's see what messages Spirit had for you on today. This is Empress Meek, and this is closer to my destiny tea, where the tea is never too hot. Always serving with a multitude of love, 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 and just right for you. And you already know where you clicked on. It's the channel of high vibration, positive energy, motivation, acceleration, and encouragement. And don't forget love and healing energy. All right, Virgo. So let's see what Spirit has for you today. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for bringing me here with my Virgos and all who are drawn to these videos. Thank you for your divine guidance and your assistance in each area of our lives. Thank you for abundance and overflow. Thank you for a positive, easy week. And thank you for healing our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen, amen, and amen. So Virgos, let's see what messages, ancestors, spirit guides. Holy angels, thank you so much for being here with us. Holy Spirit, show me clear messages for the Virgos, giving us messages of love, truth, and light. For Virgos, what do you have, Spirit? Let's see, Virgo. So, we have open up here. So, somebody might be a little bit withdrawn here. Virgo, you might feel like you are keeping something close to your chest, not really feeling comfortable um, opening up about something or somebody is maybe also I'm getting here. Um, spirit is pushing me into the, the area of opening up and showing people your gift. Somebody might have a talent that they're hiding and not really showing. Um, somebody needs to definitely open up and, um, allow, I'm getting, allow your light to shine. Allow spirit to give you the downloads you need. Somebody needs to trust in divine timing. Um, and this is number four at the top of this card. So I'm feeling like it's um, around stability. All right. Maybe a beginning, a fresh start. Let's see. What else is here for Virgo Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North. No. Ooh. Embrace. So Spirit wants you to open up and be, again, open up and be open to receive. I'm getting um, spiritually, mentally, and then physically. Look at this. Yeah, you're, um, something is coming towards you, Virgo. So let's see. What does this say? Find balance. Okay. So I feel like with this embrace card, there's so much here. Um, the red is representing action. You got a lot of red on this board, Virgo. So this is talking about you needing to take some type of action. Um, maybe there's something you need to say. I'm going to clarify this a little bit further for you, of course. Um, we're going to get into the tarot right after this. Um, but here... I'm, I'm looking at this and so we have red here. So it's showing action. You could be getting downloads from spirit. You could be getting signs. Um, you could be very, very intuitive and very wise. Somebody here could be very, very powerful. All right. And have a heart of gold, like a powerful heart of healing and love. Look, a humanitarian Virgo. I'm feeling like this is absolutely your energy. And there is something that you need to open up to. Something that you maybe need to open up and show the world. Because we have the world here. Um, and I'm feeling like fine balance. Don't let this wheel spiral out of control. I'm feeling like it's time for you to take the reins. Take charge of something in some area of your life. With all this green, it could be evolving around your stability and your financial security. Okay, so um, that's talking about financially. Okay, I know that's right. <laughs> what else is here for the Virgos? Is there anything else you we clarify, Spirit? Anything else you want to give to the Virgos? Okay, got one that flew over here. Share the love. So, Virgo, I'm feeling like Spirit is trying to tell you that it is okay to be open, to receive love. It's okay to um, be action-oriented and make action. Um, I'm feeling like action-oriented regarding love and matters of the heart. It's okay to express how you feel. And I feel like it's, some, it's okay for you to 
receive be more open to receive the same love that you give i feel like you always are sharing love with people it's a three at the top of this card so this is talking about collaborations friendship teamwork working together you're an amazing partner to have all right so spirit is saying open up a little more and you'll be able to find balance make sure that you embrace be open and available to embrace and take in everything that you're putting out to the universe the universe is trying to give it back to you you have to be open to receive it all right and then share the love all the blessings that you have coming towards you share them all right find balance i'm getting between work or whatever this is that you're doing and love life you gotta open up a little bit more all right, so let's see. Underneath the bottom of the deck, Virgo, we have take the lead. I'm feeling like in this overall energy here, I'm feeling like there's something that you need to take the lead in where it is concerning you being open to receive. Yeah, let's see. Spirit, show me clear messages um, for the surrounding energy for the Virgos. Show me clear messages. What are the surrounding energies for my Virgos? And show us why these cards are here. Still. Let's see. First, let me clarify these cards really quick. Really quick. Y'all, thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes, and for all your support. Thank you for joining our channel if you're moved to do so. I appreciate each and everything you do. And liking the videos, our likes have been going up. So thank you guys for remembering to like the videos. And for the ones who are remembering to subscribe. Thank you. All right, Spirit, show me for Virgo. Why is opening up here? Why is opening up here for my Virgos? Oh, wow, judgment. Okay, so open up. I'm feeling like this has something to do with the union. Um, with judgment, something to do with something being fair opening up because you're going through a rebirth so i feel like some type of fairness or some type of some something is coming in to bring balance into a situation and you have to be open to receive this i feel like there's something coming in and you're leery about it but this is going to help restore okay this is going to help remove some blockages so i know that for a lot of you, you might feel uneasy about something that's coming up, but it's important for you to open up, be honest, be clear, okay, be fair, all right, because there's some type of rebirth that's going to come in. Embrace. Spirit wants you to be open to receive the love that you give out, open to receive the downloads, whatever is coming towards you. There is star energy coming towards you, Virgo. So with the star card, this is talking about rejuvenation, our spiritual renewal, also talking about having hope and faith being restored, all right? And it's talking about another, again, a renewal. So for some of you, you are open to receive this. Some of you are waiting for this, but Spirit is telling you that there is some type of renewal coming, and this is judgment, something having to do with divine laws, something having to do with um, resetting the scales. So there's something, some kind of balance being restored. Fine balance is here. So what is going on? Um, number two is on this fine balance card, so I'm feeling like it has something to do with your heart, love, um, family, friends, or a partner. Um, could be a soulmate for some of you. And then for number three over here on this card where we have Embrace, this is talking about collaborations and working together with people and others in order to heal. Um, if this is also going to bring some type of success to you, Virgo. So whatever you're doing... As far as being a humanitarian or helping people or guiding people or whatever this is you're doing, all the love that you're giving out, Spirit has this coming back to you. And he wants you to balance your energy, balance your heart chakra so you'll be able to open and receive, all right? And also balance your mind. I'm feeling like some of you are thinking, having negative thoughts maybe, and this is going to cause friction here. You got something good in the works here. This is Spirit working behind the scene and reassuring you about what you're hoping for. Nine of Cups energy all right this is talking about wishes granted um this is talking about something that's coming in for you to be um grateful for and this is also talking about commitment you know so i feel like there is something going on where there's going to be balance and a commitment or some type of wish fulfilled when it comes to matters of the heart um or matters of stability and love something stable mm. share the love let me see spirit show me share the love for virgo dang this flew out y'all Oh, 
we got king of swords energy so somebody could be definitely coming to you with some communication somebody is coming to you to bring clarity somebody very intellectual but somebody is coming in to bring some truth um they're sharing sharing the love here i feel like this person coming in to bring truth and no i don't have the book right now i'm reading these cards intuitively and using the tarot so um with the share the love card you opening your heart and being willing to give um i feel like somebody is coming in bringing you truth um spirit wants you to share the love so open your heart to receive this so you can be able to heal spirit also wants you to give whatever it is you need to give to this person to bring them healing okay and you can do this without being romantic or anything like that this is about healing your heart restoring balance in your love life and moving blockages okay um you already are very intuitive you know when to not trust anybody you get that feeling right away so let's go ahead and see you want to go ahead and pull your tarot cards let's see how you're feeling let's see what's going might be going on in your feels and then we'll pull the tarot to see exactly what's going on just wanted to clarify those cards. So we're going to put this energy to the side. Let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is for Virgo. Yeah, Virgo, say my love. Hey, hey, my love. Hey, hey, my love. Sing it with me one time. Sing Virgo, say my love. Hey, my love. Spirit, divine angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Just the message for Virgo. Overall energy for Virgos, please. What's going on in Virgo's energy? What does Virgo need to know? Hold on, y'all. These cards are kind of janky, but we got forgiveness here. But let me um forgiveness flipped over actually, and none of the other ones did. But let me see. And we did see something that came out about. Be open to receive. So if somebody is coming to ask for your forgiveness, Virgo, it's time for you to release this energy that's holding you back. Some of y'all are wondering why you have blockages, and that's why. Yeah, some of you are wondering why you're feeling alone. This card was sticking out at the bottom of the deck. Five is at the top, having mental conflict, you know, trying to figure out what is going on. Yeah. It's what you're manifesting. Show me clear messages for Virgo. Yeah, some of you with these emotions that you're holding on to, that it's time to release. You're manifesting being alone. You're manifesting loneliness. Spirit is telling you it's time for you to balance your emotions. Some of you are isolating yourself and your thoughts, being very emotional. Could be about a water sign or about some type of... Um, could be about anything matters of the heart something that's weighing heavy on your heart emotionally um and a lot of you spirit is telling you it's time to release this energy all right let's see time for some self-care all right some of you are, are planning you're thinking you are releasing somebody is in the this releasing energy you could be crying cleansing your soul that's all you're doing love he's just cleansing your soul then we got thoughts here self-care we're going to clarify these cards what else for Virgo? Anything else, Spirit, before we move forward? See, somebody is coming to tell you the truth about something. Because your divine look, Spirit sees this. How some of you are being isolated because you were heartbroken, because it hurt. Because you don't know if you can trust again. If you don't know if you can trust whatever's coming towards you in love, you keep being played, you keep being tried, you keep being played with. Um, and Somebody is coming in, a water sign possibly again, coming to bring you the truth, coming to talk to you, to help you release so you can balance when it comes to matters of the heart. Because honestly, Virgo, I feel like this energy is, has been what's blocking you. This has been creating fears, doubts, and limitations because of this heartbreak, this hurt, and this person not giving you any closure. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this. Y'all know I'm ready now. Hmm. Let's see. Spirit, show me clear messages for Virgo, please. For my Virgo, Sun, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What's going on with my soul tribe? How can I help my Virgos? Put these burdens down and avoid some of these ugh, janky situations. That's what we're going to call them, y'all. All 
All right, show me clear messages here for thoughts, wise thoughts here for Virgo. What's going on in Virgo's mind? Some of y'all could be a little bit cold with this Queen of Swords energy, okay? Some of y'all are um, in your head more than you're in your feelings. And um, Spirit is telling you it's time for you to balance this. It's time for you to open up a little bit. Um, time to warm up a little bit for some of my um, female Virgos out there that are in your Queen of Swords energy. Like not taking any crap from anybody, not giving anybody any chance, okay? Although you're very logical and you have very keen insight, it feels like half of these people you see right through them. Um, but I feel like it's time, judgment time, and it's for you. So spirit is watching you and, and letting you know, trying to give you kind of warning, so to speak, through your angels and spirit guides. Showing you that it's time for you to ease up a little bit. Maybe put your sword down a little bit, you know, put your sword down until, you know, it's time. Spirit says it's time for you to release these emotions that's making you feel this way and open up your heart. Oh, Virgo, this is just for you, honey. Yeah, release. All right, some of you could be spying on your ex or an old flame or anybody. Um, somebody could be inquiring, asking, getting readings, wondering about this person. And it's time for you to release. For some of y'all, it could be somebody looking and trying to find out about you. All right, I feel like for some of you, you ghosted this person from the past or this water sign, whoever this is that wants to bring you some truth. Your spirit guides are here, okay, because this is going to be a tough situation um, and you have to have your heart a little bit more softened in order for you to do this. This is going to bring you healing. This is important, all right? This is very um, crucial for, for your healing process and you bringing in love, okay? So, yeah, so we have this page of swords energy. Yeah. Time for you to stop being so calculated about your feelings. Release control and trust divine time is very the same. Self-care, spirit. Why is self-care here for the Virgo? What's just going on here? All right. So we have feeling trapped and restricted. All right. Some of you feel um, victimized. All right. And I feel like some of you are afraid to get back out there. Some of you are feeling a lot of pressure. Maybe feeling hopeless or just feeling a sense of imprisonment or trapped. Just feeling like you don't feel safe or comfortable trusting love again. This is about love, honey. This is about whoever this is wondering, why. how can I remove these blockages? Why aren't I meeting anybody good? Why isn't anybody coming toward me? All right. I was looking at the ace of pentacles. I mean, I was looking at the ace of pentacles wondering why I was here. Some of you are distracted from work and feeling really, really um, weary, okay? Some of you are waiting. Um, but Spirit is telling you with the Seven of Pentacles energy also that things are coming into fruition for you. Slowly but surely, you're seeing your manifestations grow and come into fruition. Those who are waiting for money, um, it's only a matter of time, okay? Um, but Spirit is telling you, this is reassurance here, that you are on the right path. You just have to be patient and you'll persevere in matters of the heart and love. But first, you have to take care of yourself. I'm sorry, this belongs here under self-care with this Eight of Swords energy. So this is helping you remove these blockages here. All right, so you'll be able to move forward and be ready for when this truth comes in for whoever this is. Detachment and cold. Yeah, a lot of my Virgos have been feeling this way regarding love and letting people in. I'm getting no new friends energy. Yeah. Um, but we have, because of, some of you are detached and cold when it comes to dating and love because of these people out here, serial daters and all these cheaters out here with this third party um, interference. But for a lot of you, what Spirit is saying with this card, this is saying that you're detached and feeling cold um, towards being optimistic about what's out there for you. You know, about moving forward, conf being confident and believing in yourself that you can be happy and you're going to be successful. All right. For a lot of you, Spirit is also telling you with this Three of Wands card, you're feeling cold and detached, but your hard work will pay off. This is definitely a message of encouragement. Truth and expression here. What's the truth and expression? Let me see what that card was. For Virgo, truth and expression. What's going on here with the truth and expression? So with truth and expression, I, the, it didn't flip over, but the card that poked out was the devil card. So I wanted to see, you know, um, I wanted to put it back and see what was meant to come out. 
So truth and expression. But some of you, the person that's coming to bring you some truth could be a mother figure. It could be also a Taurus. Um, but I'm feeling like this could be a mother figure or a wife. Okay? But I'm feeling like um, what this really is saying, judging by the other cards that are around it, the surrounding energy and what I'm getting right now, I'm feeling like this is saying that this truth or whatever this expression of truth is that's going to come in for you is going to put you in this empress type energy where you're feeling creative and fertile like with new pregnant with new ideas and possibilities you're feeling you're looking better you're feeling good and you're feeling in your energy like you belong um it could make you even feel um like painting or drawing or getting more creative um yeah um for some of you this is saying that you're gonna this somebody is gonna express the truth that they want you to be their wife all right y'all so spirit is telling you to be open to receive whatever information is coming towards you um divine assistance is here your spirit guys are here oh my god and this is wish fulfillment because your wishes are about to come true for somebody so your 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 spirit guys are here assisting you with this they're showing you the way to get this to have your wishes come true they're here with you like every step of the way because it's important that you come out of this energy all right virgo so this is important for your heart in order for you to be able to move forward successfully and do and have the things you need all right this is victory overcoming these obstacles that are in your way spirit wants you to be determined and have self-discipline all right and stay focused um because this is coming in for you wow give me one on limitations and fears this is on the bottom of the deck limitations and fears for virgo this is somebody's energy that is going to come in romantic offers i feel like somebody is going to be offering you love commitment a proposal i feel like somebody is just going to be expressing how you feel spirit wants you to follow your heart with this um for a lot of you because this is for you. This is for your heart space and removing blockages. So to remove these limitations and fears, basically spirit is telling you to follow your heart. Be be um, passionate about what you believe in with this Knight of Cups energy. Okay? Um, yeah, but for some of you, somebody is going to express their love and want to take your relationship to another level. So this is important for this to work out for you because I feel like some of you, this is what you've been asking for with this Nine of Cups energy here. But somebody is definitely coming in to bring you some good news, Virgo. So prepare for that. All right, my lovey. So that's what we have here for this afternoon. I'm going to tap into your energy, of course, a little bit later. Um, let's see what your angels want to tell you about this message. We have goddess of nature here. So this says you reap what you sow. Ooh, your dream is coming to fruition. Wow. So Virgos, prepare for this. Claim this reading. Make sure you put, I claim this reading or however you want to write it, but make sure you stamp it, okay? Because this is beautiful energy. Your um spirit guides are here and your ancestors are here to assure that. Your spirit guides are right here guiding you along this path. This is going to move your blockages and bring you into that beautiful energy that you want with this emotional balance you don't have to worry about thinking about that crap that happened anymore so be open to receive whatever this is coming in and take the take the meat and leave the bones whatever helps you take it whatever you can give to help the other person take it without sacrifice all right love you i will see you sooner than later bye lovies if you want a reading you know how to get me my information is in the description box below my email address is closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. All right, loveies, I will talk to you later.